Alright guys, welcome back to another video here on my channel. Today we're going to be playing the zombie tower map. And yeah, there's a bunch of maps like these. I guess you guys have maybe already seen them on YouTube. But this is uh, this is my video on it. Um, so, but yeah, this has been done before by the likes of Chrism and stuff. But you know, I also just wanted to, to make a video about it. Because I feel like these maps are very fun. If you don't know what it's all about, you need to go all the way to the top. And uh, for each door that you open, like the, the doors, they get increasingly more expensive by uh, how far you go. So it's not really like an easy map to, to play. Uh, but we, we can already see that. Yeah, there, there are soul boxes on this map as well. There is a monkey over there. Uh, let, let's open up this door for 950. We can turn on power right here. And uh, yeah. We need to move further up. There is B23R ammo here, so let's grab that as well. Now we can basically just shoot the zombies with the B23R, which uh, which is very nice because we obviously want like a burst, automatic, semi-automatic gun, whatever, and we get a double points, which is very very key on maps like these to get double points because maps like these are essentially all about points. When it's even like if it's just timed gameplay, you know that it's just all about points. And we get a death machine as well. Which is a blunder gat? Are you kidding me? Alright, I mean, I've said this before and I'll say it again. I don't like when it's not the BO3 death machine. I think that's the best version of it. Especially if it's just a blunder gat. Like, I don't like that. Okay, so the monkeys, they grow increasingly bigger for, for every soul that you collect. Uh, I wonder what we get when it pops. Probably just a, a like, a power-up. Yeah, okay, we, we get an insta-kill. That's one of the best drops that we could have gotten. Because now I can just knife the zombies and get a lot of points by doing that so the kind of cheat code with all these maps to complete it safe is just to stand like stay at the bottom oh my god i accidentally got that nuke but yeah just to stay at the bottom for as long as possible to rack up a bunch of points which is also why i'm rebuilding the barriers right now because points are everything as i just said before uh there's a dead zombie here what the hell but yeah points are everything on maps like these so to stay as long as possible uh, at the bottom is, is the key to maps like these. And the B23R is beginning to become a little bit unreliable now, so I might need to move up soon. I'm also going to buy a quick revive in case I do go down. And we're 7.6k. That might seem like a lot, but believe me, it's not. Like, there are some doors that might be like 4k to open, 5k to open. And at that point, we've already lost the majority of our points. But insta-kill and double points are the things that are going to take us the furthest because those are the ones that give, that give you the most points. Anyways, I think I'm going to move uh, up now. Usually these maps are very hard, but I'm, I'm having it pretty easy right now. Round 8, 4 minutes in, and we're still at the, at the very bottom, uh, which is what you want to. That is how you want to be moving. We get a max ammo. I need to grab that. I have to, I have to, there we go, there we go, we got it. Okay, it's not BO4 max ammo, which is kind of annoying. So we have to to reload, which is not that cool, but I guess that's the way it is. You see, the, the B23R is not that good anymore. It takes at least two bursts to kill the zombies, depending uh, where you hit the zombies. Yeah, we, we need to move up now. Um, maybe we can just grab, yeah, we can just grab more B23R ammo. Let's go. Okay, we are, we're moving up. We got Deadshot. I'm going to buy that because I'm going to buy every single perk. Uh, we got Scorpion here, okay, uh, that is an SMG, uh, so it's not going to deal that much damage, but it's very, very good for points, and I, I like the Scorpion. The only bad thing about it is that it only holds 20 bullets. Yeah, they, they're, they're starting to push up now, and we're on 9 point, well, we're, we're in 10k right now. Again, that might seem like a lot, but believe me, it's not. It's really not, because soon we are going to be <laughs> losing all of those 10 11k that we've got right now all right i'm, I'm gonna move further up now um sit yeah you see guys that door was just 6k just for that door i'm gonna grab speed cola now as well so i can reload faster i also need to push down a little bit so i can grab more ammo because i'm about to run out of ammo and i don't know how much the next door costs we've got stamina up here as well which i didn't even realize let me grab more there we go there we go Okay, so it is already starting to be a bit hectic right now. We do get a nuke, which is actually very nice now since it allows us to push all the way down to the bottom again. Insta-kill, that is so key. Again, as I've said, insta-kill double points, those are the drops that you want to be rooting for. Uh, if, if you get an insta-kill double points combo, that's just like, that's just heaven for you. Let's just knife all the zombies now. Oh my god, okay, I'm, I'm gonna... 
Oh, I didn't even realize that I hadn't killed that zombie. Well, I, I'm, I think I'm going to shoot the zombies now because I also want them to be pushed a little bit back. But, yeah, let me just shoot the the rest of them with the insta-kill. Oh my god, no, 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 I almost went down, I almost went down. I, I'm not a good zombies player. Let's get the blunder gat. That can actually push us back, I think, especially now that we have uh, speed cola. So we reload it much faster. Yeah, yeah, we can we can push all the way back here. And it can hit collateral, so that's also very good. There are also some doors down here. There's a... Uh, oh, yeah, there's a door there. And then there's a secret door there that opens. So I, I want to check those out as well. When uh, Whenever we have made the top. Oh my god, that's a double points. I need that. There we go, there we go. We got it. This is so key. This is so key. Double points is the best thing that you can get on a map like this. Uh, let's grab more scorpion ammo. Because we need the ammo to kill all the zombies. Gosh, there's a bunch of zombies here. Oh my god. And headless zombies as well. Jesus Christ, I hate those. Those are the worst types of zombies, headless zombies. Uh, I guess that's fine. We can push down a little bit. So the blunder guy is actually good. I mean, I guess it would be too OP if they put the normal death machine in here as well. I think I'm just going to run up and, and get a new gun because uh, these guns are not really killing. What is this? An MP5? Yeah, MP5. Okay, that's good. Uh, I mean, it's not good, but it's better than the... Beats of 3R really. And we, oh my god, we just got a max ammo. Not that I'm complaining, but I could have used the Beats of 3R still. And now we get a nuke. Okay, you know what? That's fine. That's fine. We can push down a little bit more. But there are also these soul boxes that I need to fill. Okay, yeah, this just got filled up. Double tap is one of the... Oh, let's go. Max ammo. Yeah, but double tap is one of the best perks. Because it just like... If you don't have a wonder weapon, then you really want double tap. Because it just... Yo, yeah, it's double tap. You know, it, it deals double the amount of damage. And it also gives you you know better fire rate so i'm gonna go up and grab more mp5 ammo now since i also want to you know just stay up here because there is a soul box right here that we need to fill up too so i'm gonna wow 10k for this door are you kidding me yeah so I, I gotta open up this door and so i can kill the zombies because if they all just come up here and i'm getting trapped that's not good oh we got a nuke from that uh i don't want to grab that because we need to optimize the points 11.5k we got Jug here, we got Mystery Box, we got Pack-A-Punch, very nice. We got another one of these soul boxes up here. We got a shield. It's, it's a rocket shield, okay. I would have wished that it was the Garot Krovi shield, but, you know, I guess that would also be a little bit OP. Maybe too much. Uh, so we got, oh, we got another soul box up here. So we got more than one, I guess. We got this, uh, it's not zombie, we got this monkey that is stuck in the floor. Oh my god, oh my god, I don't like the, the way that it just grows. I think that's it. Bro, look at its face, it looks so scary. Oh my god, it looks so- Oh my god, I didn't even see the, the zombie, but the face looks so scary. I think it's been filled up now. Yeah, uh, a magic door has opened. Yeah, so that's the the door down below. Uh, let's- Is there not mule cake on this map? Have I just missed mule cake? Is, okay, buy a Bible ending 115. 115 is that a ray gun mark 2 uh but is there no oh yeah there's milky right here okay i just i didn't see it i didn't see it yeah I i'm too stressed out by all these zombies coming up here right now uh, let's grab more mp5 ammo i'm not gonna go down there yet because i assume that the door is more than 1k to open what is this spawn power up 5k there's no way i'm gonna do that and there's phd down here that wasn't here before i'm pretty sure it wasn't let's push all the way down because there are two doors that have opened, which does something. What they do? Ooh, we'll have to wait and see, but they do something. Bro, these headless zombies, again, they are so annoying. The reason why the Man of War is so good is obviously because it's an AR. Uh, so it does more damage than, a, than a, an SMG. But again, we've also got double tap, so it deals even more damage. This is so good. This is so satisfying. And we, we even got a max ammo as well. So I can just, you know, grab that whenever I want to. And an insta-kill. Let's go, boys. Yeah, I'm gonna grab the max ammo and the insta-kill now. Let's go. We still got double points. We got a little bit double points insta-kill combo going on here. So we just knife the zombies. Okay, well, when we get a nuke, I'm gonna I'm gonna see what those doors think they are and, and what they do. Uh, I guess I could do it with an insta-kill, but it, it's about to run out. Oh my god. So, I'm not gonna do it right now. Oh, so the door is already open. Okay, it doesn't... What is this? It's like a jump pad, I guess? It looks like it. Whenever there's like... 
Yeah, launch 3k. Does it cost, bro? I thought it would be like me. I mean, I guess you know to take you all the way to the top. 3k is is fine. Another max ammo. Uh, I don't think we can grab it actually. I really want to grab it, but I don't think we can. Especially with all these headless zombies running. No, we we're not gonna be able to grab that. Oh yes, we are. Yes, we are. Let's go. All right, now we got. Bro, there's another door. 15k. 20 oh, bro are you for real so we're gonna spend 35k opening up in there you know what i have to do it i want to know what's in there i saw the hell's retriever uh there's a house in there so can we look through the window is that a dead body lying there bro i don't want to spend 35k just for a dead body i don't want that but now i'm getting now i'm getting curious i want to know what the hell is in there okay okay we gotta go in here grab the hell's retriever and this door costs money as well. 25k? Are you for real? So how much is that in total? Uh, 25 plus 20 is 45. We spent 60k. 60k to open up in there. What is in there that's worth 60k? So let me just pack a punch the man of wards to get the Dreadamata. It's a very nice view up here actually. Just somewhere in the mountains. There's this zombie thing going on here. The zombie tower. Ooh, Thompson. I'll gladly take that. Bro, what, what is this? What is the way he's running with this gun? What the hell? Yo! Maybe I shouldn't have taken that. It has no, like, vibrate. It's such a weird gun. It it has no vibration in, in my controller when, when I shoot it. It's a very strange gun, but I'm gonna keep it. Let's grab the rocket shield because why not? If, you're, if your shield gets destroyed and you want to buy another one, do you also have to pay 7.5k? I hope not. What is this? MTAR. Ooh. MTAR X. Okay. Well, I don't know if that's a custom weapon or if that is like an actual thing that Treyarch have made, but it looks very nice. Max ammo? No, I'm not gonna grab that. I cannot. No, I cannot fucking grab. Wait, I got the Hell's Retriever. Oh, well, wait. Oh, we just got a max ammo again. What? So, this max ammo is still. Yeah, it's still down here. Okay. But I just got another one for, uh, for killing that other zombie. Well. I mean, that's nice. I, I want to keep the MP5 because then I always have a gun that I can just buy ammo with off the wall. Three zombies in one shot with the Blundergat, bro. It's crazy. It, it is actually a good death machine. I take everything a setback. All right, let, let's push. Let's push down now. Uh, when I have this insta-kill because when I when I run out of insta-kill, it's, it's not going to be good. Let's open up here. 25k. What's in here? What's in here? Wait, what is this? A bank? Okay. Got Widow's Wine. Gonna grab that. Uh, Freeze Blaster. Mm, I mean, all that for <laughs> for 60, 60k? Uh, I guess I'll take it. Uh, Wither's Howl. Um, it doesn't even do anything, bro. It's, it's bad. It, this was not worth it. 100% not worth it. Widow's Wine for 4k. Uh, and so it's like 60, 64k in total to get Widow's Wine. I don't know if that's worth it really, but you know. Now now we've got it. I want to try the Winter's Fury now. It's uh, it's quite underwhelming to say the least. Oh, I'm down. No, I'm not. I've got the shield. Let's go. Uh, now I'm down. Wait, 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 wait. So, okay, maybe the Winter's Fury is good. Okay, I take back everything that I said about the Winter's Fury as well. Because it, it just got me out of that situation. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna buy the MP5. And I'm gonna pack a punch it as well. You wouldn't think that it's an uh, an SMG. Which, I mean, I guess pack a punch the SMG becomes just like, a, just like an AR. But this is very, very good. Obviously, we are almost out of ammo already. But that's just the way it is. Oh, we get a nuke. That's also pretty nice if we can get a double points from oh my god there's no way there is no way we oh my god there's no way we got double points i was about to say if we can get a double points from one of the dying so wait what there's a panzer down there what the hell but yeah i was about to say if we can get a double points from one of the dying zombies and then we actually get it there's no way bro a few moments later i still got dread amata ammo so I'm, I'm gonna use that i completely forgot about that is that a max ammo Oh, it was, it was, and an insta kill. Okay, wait, no. So that wasn't, ma it wasn't a max ammo. I, I again, I, I just called it. I got a max ammo when I asked for it because the drop that I got with the health retriever that was the insta kill. So I just got a max ammo for killing that zombie as soon as I asked if the insta kill was a max ammo. 
Oh my god, I'm red screened again, bro. Bro! I need to hit the box, actually. I need to swap out the, the Dreadamara. I don't have more bullets for it. So I need to, to swap out that gun. Maybe I shouldn't be running around with it since uh, if I get stuck, it's not good. Oh, we do get a Scar H. The MP5 is really, really, really good. Pack a punch, actually. Oh my god, bro. These, the, bro, he's still running. He's he's dead, man. Can you double pap the Winner's Fury? Wait, what? You can, actually. Does that give you an effect? I really want to know. I'm gonna double pap it because I want to see if it actually gets an effect. Does it? It gets fireworks, bro. Does it work? I mean, I don't see it working, so I don't think it works. I think we just wasted a bunch of uh, points on that, but we're gonna get that back with this double points. Oh, insta kill! Let's go, let's go, and a blundercat, which is not too bad actually. If we want to push, oh, max ammo and a nuke. I mean, I did not want the nuke, but hey, we had to get the nuke to get the max ammo, so I'll take it. I'll take it. Hopefully, we can get another double punch drop here. No, not not this time. All right, so we. Yeah, we've just crossed the 100k mark, so we only need 15k more to to end this to end this game. Insta kill, let's go. And we're we yeah we are basically done. We get another max ammo, bro. The max ammos on this map are so crazy. I guess it's because there's no carpenters. I've not got a single carpenter, so and I, also I've I've not got a fire cell because of the fact that the box has not moved yet. So I think well I don't think I know that we are more likely to get max ammos because the only three. Uh, sorry, the only four drops that are in cycle are nukes, double points, insta kills, and max ammos. So usually there would be like if if the box is also moved, there would be six drops in in uh, in cycle, but there's only four. And we we are actually already able to to buy the end game. So let's just throw down the widow's wine grenades here because why not? And I want to use the winner's fury just to blast all freeze all these zombies here, see them explode. Go get some more widow's wine grenades grab a nuke maybe even grab a blunder gat and then we can go up here and then we can end the game but thank you guys so much for watching i hope that you enjoyed this video if you did make sure to like and subscribe and i'll see you all in the next video